Hi, it's Chris here from Seeing Red. I just want to talk a little bit about the mosque at Finsbury Park. There was a little incident, I don't know if you heard about it. You know, some white, white wing nutter drove a fucking van into a group of Muslims coming out to pray. Yeah, that incident, incident, as it keeps being called. Why, why is this happening? Why aren't people calling this what it is a terrorist attack? Now, what we know so far, the guy who did it, Darren Osborne, some 47 year old from Cardiff. When he was pulled out of the van, he yelled, I want to kill all Muslims. When he was put in the back of the police van, he was waving bye bye and blowing kisses. Theresa May has come out today. She said, this, we're treating this as a potential terrorist attack. Where is the potential? This is a terrorist attack. Why is it when a Muslim does it, it is immediately labelled as such? But because this man is not a Muslim, some white nationalist, we're just ignoring it completely. Now, every time there's a terrorist attack, we come out and we speak about what has happened and we try and get to the root cause of it. Again, this is not happening this time. Why is nobody looking at this man's ideology? Well, you say, we don't know. Well, let's have a guess, shall we? Well, he wasn't a Corbyn supporter, was he? We know that for a fact, pretty much. We can safely say this man did not vote for Jeremy Corbyn. Probably on the Paul Nuttall scale of things. Why aren't people talking about what caused this man to do these acts? When a Muslim does it, and rightly so, we analyse everything. We, pe everybody becomes Islamic scholars, they don't get their non-existent Qurans out and guess what the Quran says and tells them to murder people, but we're just ignoring it this time. So let's look. We've got people like Kate Hopkins in the media. She put a, a Twitter out recently saying, these are your wives, these are your daughters, it is time to take action. From who? Who are you talking to? You're talking to these people. You're talking to these fucking absolute crazy bastards like Darren Osborne, the Andrew Brevix of society, who you know will go out and do harm to people based on what you say. It was only last year when she was being investigated by the European Union, they said that her rhetoric matched Nazi propaganda. But poof, gone. Forgotten about. You've got people like Tommy Robinson, who for some reason, he is now on telly. How has that happened? Who has given this man a voice? I watched a video on Facebook earlier on where he stood and he gave a speech where he was warning about right-wing militias that would be formed to hunt down Muslims. Oh, the apologists are saying, no, no, he was just warning, he was warning. No, no, no. When a ne leader of a neo-Nazi organization says these things, you have to read between the lands. I mean, watch any, IS any ISIS video or any of the Islamic preachers in, in England who preach Islamic state propaganda, they never say go out and join ISIS because they can't. They'd get the door kicked off. They'd be arrested. They don't want that because they want to carry on giving their hate speech. This is what Tommy Robinson's doing. He can't say guys go and start anti-Muslim militias because he'd be arrested. He's pretty much said it. Go and, wa I, go and watch the video. I think uh, Crimes of Britain posted it earlier on. I'll post the link in the video below. But please watch the video. Tell me what you think. He is blatantly saying to carry out these attacks. The Daily Mail, they wrote in their assessment of it that it was committed by a white van driver. Like we've suddenly got groups of white van drivers committing... This is a terrorist! Call these things what they are! Why do we need to make this distinction? People are actually on Facebook this morning saying, oh, it's not terrorism, it's revenge. This is exactly the same shit that ISIS say to justify when they murder innocent people. I really... <laughs> This distinction needs to stop. This is a dangerous distinction that people are making. A lot of this is being driven by groups of people who are into New Age atheism. Oh, it's not all religions, but all religions are bad, but it's Islam. Islam is the problem. They're the ones we need to watch. Completely ignoring the fact that nine times out of ten, Muslims are the victims of these attacks. You look at ISIS. Who are they chopping? They're chopping Muslims' heads off every day. But yet, they're meant to be the personification personification of Islam. Fuck off. The, these attacks are politically motivated and until people actually face that fact we're not going to get anywhere with this discussion. I will point a gun for my country but I won't guarantee you which way.